G'day guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean. Um, if you're new here and you're wondering what I talk about, I talk everything tech, I talk about gaming, streaming, tutorials, anything and everything technology related. And today I wanted to talk about uh, part three to this whole Logitech Brio 4K webcam um, that I've had and I've had some issues with, but I've managed to resolve them all and I want to share with you how to resolve them if you're having any similar issues. So. First of all, this webcam is awesome. I love it, it's great, but you do have to make sure that you plug it directly into a USB 3 or a USB 3.1 port on the back of your computer into your laptop. You have to avoid using a USB hub, even if it's a good quality USB 3.0 hub, um, it just will not give enough bandwidth to the actual webcam to give you a continuous smooth video stream. So that's part one. Part two is that you need to make sure that you're using potentially another third party application like OBS Studio. I'll leave a link to that down below in order to get the proper frame rates. When I'm using the Logitech um, application or using the Windows 10 camera application, it's sometimes hit and miss whether or not it'll pick up all of the different resolutions there. Um, so that's just another little tidbit. Um, the third part is that with the resolutions advertised by Logitech, they advertise that it's a 4K webcam, and for most people, 4K is 3840 by 2160 resolution. Um, but what I found for me personally is I actually had to force it to go to 4096 by 2160, which funny enough is actually what Logitech um, specifies on their page in the technical specifications area on their camera. If you try and force it to go to 3840, 2160, it probably won't, probably won't work. If you bring it up to 4096, 2160, it'll work. So just a little um, oversight on my behalf, that's maybe why I was, wasn't getting 4K resolution um, on the camera. So I'll go into um, my computer now and I'll show you how to configure it um, in case you have any issues yourself. So thanks for watching this video. Um, if you do like this video, chuck it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike and maybe tell me why. And uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos coming out this year in 2019. Cheers. Alrighty guys, so I'm going to take you quickly through how I've got my Logitech Brio set up on my personal PC. Um, before we jump into things, just want to let you know that I'm running Windows 10 Pro, 64-bit. I've got the latest Windows updates installed. The camera is plugged in directly to the back of my PC's motherboard on the USB 3.1 port. The motherboard that I'm using is the ASUS uh, Strix X370-i and I think that's about it. Ryzen 5 2600 processor and an RX 580 graphic card. So what I would recommend doing first um, as it's the instructions that Logitech wants you to go with is to go to the Logitech website and download the Logitech Capture application. Once you've got that installed, you should have a purple symbol like this somewhere in your start menu. So if we go into the application, we'll see, that's me, g'day, how's it going? Um, and we've got here some options on the left hand side. So up on the top left, we've got the source. So you can have source one. If you've got maybe another camera, you can select another camera or you can select your display to be a option for capturing but we'll stick with the webcam for now. We've got option two here for, just give it a second to catch up. So we've got option two here for selecting another source. So, you know, you might wanna have your display. So if you wanna switch between one and the other, you've got the camera controls. So this part here, we can obviously turn on and off that Logitech logo in the bottom right corner. Um, you've got the resolution full HD 1920 by 1080. That's what I've got mine currently selected to. And you can see that it gives you all these different frame rate options. If we click the drop down for resolution, we can see we've got 720p, 480, 360 at 16 by 9, the same thing at 9 by 16, and then the same thing at 1 to 1. Well, not exactly the same, but similar. But one thing that we're missing here is the 4K option that Logitech. Um, advertises for this webcam. So for whatever reason, I've never seen the 4K option appear in this list. If I use the Windows 10 camera application down on the bottom here at the taskbar, sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't. Um, what I've found is I've had to use another application. 
Um, before I exit this application though, I'll jump into some of the other features is the sound. You can select your default microphone, your default speakers. Um, you can set up your transitions for going between one scene and the second and your shortcut keys for you know switching scenes or muting the microphone. In the profile, you can go ahead and create profiles if you've got different things for different reasons. So maybe you would have one profile for recording and maybe another profile for streaming. Completely up to you. Um, personally, I'm not going to be using this application just because it doesn't give me the 4K option here. So if we go ahead and exit this application, uh, click on these little dots. Oops, sorry, click on the top right, click on the X. And what I'll do is I'll jump into the application which I use. So I use an application called Streamlabs, um, which is an application in conjunction with OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a piece of free software for setting up things for streaming, for doing um, recordings, display recordings. Uh, it's a really versatile piece of software. So Streamlabs and OBS have sort of collaborated together. And this is my current uh, scene set up for my live streams. So if we go to, for example, the scene that I've created called Just Me, you will see that it's nothing, it's just myself. And if I go ahead and double click on the webcam option here, you can add it as a source. You can see that we've got 1920 by 1080, which is the resolution that I stream at. But if we go ahead and choose 4096 by 2160 and drop it down to 30 frames, it's going to give us the actual um, native 4K resolution. So let me just resize the window here. I just realized I've locked it. That's why it's not letting me do anything. And I'm just having to sort of resize it for the window. So the reason why it sort of goes off the screen here, and you might notice that my face and the audio might be a little bit out of the sync, is just it's having a really hard time capturing the resolution at 4k at 30 frames there is a slight delay which i can't really do anything about um, it's purely i think a bottleneck from the camera to the computer and then showing it on the screen um, also the reason why it's hanging off the edge here is that my canvas is 3840 by 2160 and so that's why it's a little bit off the ratio is not exactly correct if i go ahead though and drop it down in the properties to 1920 by 1080, which is what I think most people will do. I have it at 60 frames a second. It fits perfectly in my canvas because it's got the perfect aspect ratio and it's nice and smooth. You can see that my lips and the audio are exactly in sync. And this is probably the piece of software that I would use for setting up any recording or streaming. Um, if you're streaming to YouTube or streaming to Twitch, or whatever platform you might be streaming to. If you're doing things like Skype calls, um, I haven't experimented with Skype, you might just need to go through the settings on that application and see what options you get. It's really a case by case basis. Some people that I've, um, some of the comments that I've read in forums say that, you know, for them, the 4K option appears perfectly fine. Other people are saying that it doesn't. It's a bit hit and miss, and I think that's got to do with the type of USB port on the back of your PC or in the side of your laptop and maybe what spec PC that you're running. Maybe for some people they don't have the fastest processor um, available, they might be running an old i3 or an i5 um, and it may not have the grunt to run 4K. So just bear that in mind, um, 4K is, if that's your goal, maybe just do a bit of research first just to make sure that your computer has the right spec. Um, and then go from there. So thanks for watching this video guys. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.